Hey everybody, it's Michael here with GoodEReader.com, and today we're checking out the new Kobo Cloud Reader, and this is Kobo's answer to HTML5 and being able to be read easily via the web browser on many popular tablets, your PC, your Mac, more particularly the Apple iPad, which incidentally the Kobo app does not let you make in-app purchases with books anymore. So currently this uh, Cloud Reader works on Google Chrome, Apple Safari, and so on. And it doesn't actually work with uh, Firefox, so if you're trying to access read.cobobooks.com, which is the cloud reading address, you are in luck. So you can see this is the main interface here. You can see books in your own collection. You can also check out new books added looks like there's no synopsis of the book so far but it does let you get a free preview so when you're downloading a book it's actually getting downloaded to your Kobo account so you this preview would be maintained on any of the supported apps that Kobo has so if you have iOS Android or Windows 8, you are good to go. So you can see the screen here is black. What we can do here is hit the font settings and we have a number of settings here we can tweak it to. So this is the default with the white background. When you're reading later at night, you probably want something that's easier on the eyes rather than a glaring white background. But you also have nighttime reading mode too. You can set the layout so there's everything's contained within a singular page here. Uh, or you can make it so there's you know two lines of text on each page. Depending on whether you're reading it on your PC or whether you're actually using Safari on your iPad to both buy and read books, customize it to your landscape or portrait mode. You also have text alignment. We're on the publisher's default, but we can change it to left, to justified. You can see that there's small live changes being accomplished right now. You also have a number of fonts. So you can change uh, the default font on a book to your liking. Right now, there's not a whole lot of fonts, and I don't think that there's any way for you to actually load in your own at the moment. But you can increase your font size, and this is good for people that like a little bit more control over their e-reading experience. So this is more or less just finding this your own personal sweet spot in terms of the font alignment, layout, and font size. So Kobo is giving you enough options to, you know, basically get the most out of your e-book reading. You can also click here within the book and jump to the table of contents as well as various chapters. We're in a preview book, so obviously it doesn't have a lot, but we'll show you our purchased book here. Uh, just pointing out there's some options here. So this is where you're logged in. This is how much storage is available in your Kobo account. So let's look at a book here, Lee Child, The Affair. And if we click here, you can jump between the various chapters. So this is the Kobo Cloud Reader. Again, you can purchase books as well as read books all within this. And it's mostly tailored towards the Apple iPad and various other iOS devices, but it could be used on any, any basically web browser as long as you have Chrome and Safari. So for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.